This is a short film about a documentary filmmaker who made critically lauded programs for the BBC and about how, along the way, he proved that style always triumphs over substance. Wherever you find them, friendly people, gracious customs, both mean true hospitality today, tomorrow, and all through the years to come. In 1992, a strange and brilliant That's Life researcher with a skinny puppy CD embarked upon a career of producing documentaries about how ideas can spark social movements. Adam Curtis believed that 200,000 Guardian readers watching BBC Two could change the world. But this was a fantasy. In fact, he had created the televisual equivalent of a drunken late-night Wikipedia binge with pretension to narrative coherence. Combining archive documentary material with interviews, Curtis filled in the gaps by vomiting grainy library footage onto the screen to a soundtrack of Brian Eno and Nine Inch Nails. He had discovered that it did not matter what footage he used, so long as he changed the shot so bewilderingly fast that the audience didn't notice the chasm between argument and conclusion. This was especially effective when he simply cut the music mid-bar. And as a result, Sabo and Beke were swept to power at the next general election. Meanwhile, in America, a strange and brilliant cameraman was shooting stock footage of Death Valley, California. Curtis implied that this was somehow relevant to the labyrinthine argument he was constructing. His audience believed that it would turn out to be of crucial significance. But this was a fantasy. Curtis never returned to Death Valley or the cameraman. He had discovered that they did not matter because five minutes later, his audience had simply forgotten about them. But this did not matter because Curtis spoke with such an impeccable, authoritative BBC manner that the audience took even gross generalizations and unsupported value judgments to be the absolute truth. They simply went along with it. And thanks to Adam Curtis, Brian Eno never had to work again. Come along.